Okay, good morning everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a quick modeling exercise where I'm going to make a 1969 Ford Mustang. So today I'll start the modeling with a quick outline and then take some extruding planes from this outline to build the general bodywork. I'll work from front to back, starting with the hood and the grill, and then working to the doors. And from, from the doors, I'll work a little further forward to get this wheel well in, just so I can get the shape of the general body worked out. I'll do a bunch of small adjustments, extrude some planes, just uh, triangulate some faces, do a bunch of fancy stuff in there. Uh, here I work on the edge of the window and the top of the body, trying to get the shape of the window correct, how it fits into the air intake on the back side. I also use a mirror modifier there as well. And from here I'll go and I'll use some curve modifiers to create the kind of cur uh, curved out edges of the wheel wells, just so they look a little more realistic. And then I'll use some low poly modeling with some cylinders to create the lights. Use some very easy modeling techniques here just to get some general light shape. And then from there I'll use some more cylinders to make the wheels, use some insets, cut some loops, check or deselect, you know, just get the, the general shape of the rims in a very low poly sense, just for some very easy, fast modeling. Once I have all of the modeling done, I can move on into shading, where I'll take a bunch of glossy modifiers to make the car paint, just layer them on top of each other with some very slight offsets, just so that the car paint has that nice glossy, kind of sealed texture to it. After I get the paint, I'll do the wheels, which is just a really rough rubber, just black, and then some silver for all the extra details. And then everything that isn't painted on the car, I will make just a dark metalish black so that it blends in with the other details. And use some volumetric translucency for the glass, where I'll use this displacement texture that I kind of edit a little bit so the glass isn't perfectly smooth, because glass isn't really perfectly smooth in real life if you look at it from the right angle. And then I'll move on to modeling the environment, which is a very simple way to make a road where you take a square and you map a bunch of squares to a curve. So all the squares go all the curve and give them a texture and then just reposition it so that it's all nice. And then use a giant plane that's with a grass texture to make everything that's not in the viewport. So that is my modeling and here it is.